Hello, welcome to PBS Le Tutor. We'll be looking at mathematics. And the topic today is linear programming, paper one type. We have a question that, that says write, write down three inequalities that define the unshaded region R. So this is the region which is unshaded, and they want you to find the inequalities that define that same region. Now this region is unshaded, so they want regions that do not present this but they present the uninitiated region. Now we have this coordinate, that coordinate, and this coordinate here. This, we need to take them into consideration first. So, let's see how we can answer this question. So, let's call this our line 1. Then let's call this our line 2. Then let's call this our line 3. So, line our line 1 is a straight line. And it is passing through the y-axis at point 0, 0,6. So, our first inequality, first we need to say y is equal to 6. Now, when you look at the part that is shaded, this side which is shaded, is greater than 6. But the part they want is this part which is unshaded. So, we are going to say that that part is less than. Now, because of this line is not blocking, it's a full uh, line, we, we are going to say it's less than or equal to 6. That becomes our inequality number 1. Take note, we've used this sign because the line is straight, not blocking, and it's cutting the y-axis at 0, 0,6, which is 6. Hence, we, add, we show it like that. When you look at line 2, line 2 is, is cutting the x-axis at this point and the, also the y and the x-axis at that point. So you know that this line is going upwards, hence it has got a gradient of which is positive. So we start getting the coordinates from that point to that point. So our first coordinate that is 2, comma 0, and our second coordinates are 8, comma 6. First thing is we need to find the gradient. And you know that gradient m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, our y2, that is 6, our y1 is 0, our x2 is 8, and our x1 is in there. So, we are having 6 over 6, hence our m is equal to 1. So this is not a straight line, but we need to find the equation of this straight line be first. So we know that the value of our, our gradient is 1. Now let's go to, you, you, we are going to use the uh, standard equation formula for finding the equation of a straight line. So the equation is y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Our y is this. Our y1 uh, becomes 0, yes. Our gradient is 1. Our x1 is negative. That uh, is positive 2, sorry. When we simplify, it's going to give you x minus 2. That's an equation. Now look at the part which they want. This part has been shaded. It's not a needed part. The part that we want is this. And all this part is greater than, that, than the one that has been shaded. Uh, this side because all those numbers are greater than 2. So what do, we, what do we write here? We say y is greater than. Now since this line is dotted, so it's, we're just going to write the less than without an equal sign. So just y is less than x minus 2. That's all. That's our second inequality. Our line 3 has coordinates starting from there going there so it's going down and it has got a gradient of negative which is ne uh, the gradient is a negative number so our coordinate will start from 0 comma 6 to 2 comma 0 we need to find the gradient as first as we know y2 y1 x2 x1 y2 is 0 y1 is, in, is 6 x2 is 2, 0, that is negative 6 over 2, hence our m 
is going to be negative 3. So our value of m is negative 3. Now let's go on. We are going to use the same standard equation to find the, uh, the inequality for this. So that y is equal to, sorry, y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. y minus our y1, that is 6. Our gradient is negative 3. Then our x1, we know that our x1 is 0. Then it's y minus 6 it is equal to negative 3x because negative and negative 0 is going to give you 0 again. So this goes to y is equal to negative 3 plus, sorry, negative 3x plus 6. Hence our y. Now we need to see the shaded part is the other side which is not needed but we want the part which is not shaded so the, the side the other side there where i'm shading the arrow is the one that is needed as a result all those numbers are greater than so and the uh, and the line if you see it is not broken it's a solid line so all those numbers that are not shaded they are greater than all the numbers that are shaded so they are greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 6 and that is our third inequality that's how you go about finding inequalities that paper one type stay tuned for more inequalities for paper two type thank you so much don't forget to sub to subscribe click the bell so that each and every day when i post a video you are the first one to get notified and don't and you do not get a chance to miss any of the videos thank you so much see you